I'm going to play for you a soundbite that will live in infamy. I have told you I had heard through, through inside sources that the reason I was banned from the United Kingdom is because members of the royal family had converted to Islam secretly. I didn't believe it, and I don't believe it. But today we have proof positive that, there, that at least some members related to the, loyal, to, the, to the leadership of England are now, in fact, Muslims. We're going to play a soundbite for you of Tony Blair's sister-in-law, who has converted to Islam, speaking before radical Islamics, attacking Jews in Israel in clip 21. You're never going to believe what you're about to hear. I did not make this up, but when you listen to this, you'll understand why the former prime minister of England banned Michael Savage from entering the United Kingdom. It's because it is Londonistan. It is run by Muslims. Listen to clip 21. Now you have Hitler's Nazism showing its ugly face in a headscarf in the form of Tony Blair's sister-in-law, who, if it was 1939, would be wearing a swastika, in my opinion, and speaking the way the Germans spoke about uh, the West and about Jews in particular. And so now when you ask yourself, why did they pick on Michael Savage and ban him from the United Kingdom? It's a story you think you know. You don't know. You don't know the inside story. I just played for you some tragic statements from a woman who is the sister-in-law of Tony Blair, the former very nice, very liberal, very liberal Prime Minister Tony Blair. Remember how nice he was? Remember how Mr. Rogers Tony Blair was? I have found out that most of the upper class of England, the ruling class, are infected with liberalism to the extent that you cannot even discern the difference between them and the Islamists that are threatening to steal England and turn it into an Islamic state. It's almost impossible to discern the difference.